Okay, well, I got my little oscillator to receive a modulated signal and broadcast to a radio. Doesn't, doesn't sound very good, but uh, it's working. And uh, I don't know if you see that LED modulating or not, but uh, I can actually see the modulation in the LED. If I take the radio away, it, it goes off. And uh, it's broadcasting from that coil right there from this uh, radio. And uh, let me turn the, the volume down here and I'll let you listen to it on the radio. That's the radio right there. Old, old song. <laughs> but anyway, I got this little thing to work. I uh, put a variable capacitor here in conjunction with the potentiometer. This is the circuit. And uh, what I did was I went in here to the uh, to this point right here and I put the input actually right here is where I put the input from the radio that's this uh, earphone wire and I just plugged an earphone wire right into there and then I changed this to a variable um, uh, picofarad um, type of uh, variable capacitor that's this one right here and by adjusting uh, everything and getting to a null station on AM band I was able to get this to uh, to turn into a broadcaster. Same thing I can I can do the null thing. And when I was sailing to Hawaii it was music like this that I I homed in on. I knew where the radio station was on the islands. And I just tuned the radio to the null station, I mean to the null, and that gave me a direction to the radio tower. And then the different islands had different radio stations, of course, so I could triangulate with the radio stations and get a fix on where I was. And coming home, uh, what I used was San Francisco and L.A., and I could tell where the stations were, they would identify themselves, and I could triangulate with the radio stations and uh, figure out where I was uh, out in the Pacific, and it was hundreds of miles that I could pick up these radio stations and triangulate uh, a path home. But anyway, this was a successful little project here that I was able to turn this into a broadcasting uh, radio station using that uh, bifiler coil. By the way, there are four strands in this, and I'm only using the outer two strands. And the inner two strands, I believe, are uh, acting like a core. And uh, this is that ferrous metal. You can put a magnet on that and it, it uh, attaches. So anyway, that was my little um, oscillator that I turned into a radio broadcaster. Real fun little project. This would be a good science fair project for uh, uh, a young person. And uh, a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.